Hello guys, my name is Shaima. So today I will teach you how to custom design sliding door for wardrobe like this picture. Okay, so first go to customize, click wardrobe. Okay, you see topless cabinet frame with feet, just drag it here. Okay, and then go to basic unit, drag adjustable unit cabinet. Okay, just drag it, usually it will auto snap. It will auto resize according to the uh, wardrobe size. Okay. And then right click. See sliding door. Click sliding door generation. This one you can just choose any type of sliding door you want. Okay. And next, see number here. Just click add button. Add one door. Okay. Click the door, see the dimension here, we just want the dimension, okay. And then click the whole sliding door and just delete it. We're going to make a new door, okay. From Superboard, we're using Superboard, go to basic board and then vent panel, we scroll down a bit, okay. See Superboard. Okay, so here Superboard, just drag it out. Okay, and then resize it. This one I use uh, the size, the door size that we just see just now. Okay, enter 661.33. The depth 1958. This one is a thickness 9. Okay, and then press X button on your keyboard to rotate the door. Okay, rotate it. And then press Z button. Okay, move it upward. Okay, and then you click the panel. Press Ctrl C button and then Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, and then you just press Z button to move it around. Okay, so now we have two panels. So the back panel, I just want to change the material. Let me change the material to darker color. This one, I want it to be gray. So I just gray color. So for the second panel, this one you need to press B button on your keyboard to go board selection mode. Okay, press uh, and then right click, see panel point editing, go to panel point editing. Okay, so here the screen you can zoom, you can see the arrow here, the blue arrow. Okay, the red arrow is the bottom panel. And then click drill hole rectangle. Okay, drill hole rectangle. And then you can just um, draw rectangle according to your uh, preference. Lah. So this one I draw rectangle here. And click save. Okay, return. So now we have drill the hole to the panel. And here I change the material. I want it to be white. Okay. Choose um, warm white. Warm white. Okay. Okay. Next, move it. Go to okay. Press the Z button on your keyboard. Okay, and then click point capture. So here you just select the edge point okay, and then connect it to the edge point of the second panel. Okay, so now just highlight it and press control button. Okay, highlight it and then press control and G so it will group. Okay, so now you have grouped your door. So it'll be inside your favorite collection. So now I just move it, press the Z button to move it, move it to the wardrobe. Ok, 
Okay, this one I change the wardrobe color. Change it to white also. You guys can choose your color you want. Okay, this one I choose white. Then just position it here. Okay, adjust the position. Okay, and then for the inside part, you can just add function, right click, add function part. Okay, this one for shelving part, just middle plane. Okay. And select the plane see evenly divided okay add another function part for shelf stretch shelf okay adjust the shelf it will auto adjust and divide it to four okay Okay, and then you go to favorite, go to favorite, you drag your door that you have just favorite just now. Okay, drag it out. Drag two doors out. And then you just position it. Okay, adjust the position. So basically, this is the last step. You guys can try out to design your own sliding doors. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you for watching, guys.